Okay, so I have this big box of trash, aka my empties, and we're just going to go through it all, and I will let you know what I thought of everything. And here we have a Batiste um, dry shampoo with a hint of color. It's the Divine Dark, because I have dark hair. Um, but I won't for much longer. I do plan, I have a hair appointment on June, in June, and I'm going to be going back lighter for summer. So, I will not be repurchasing this exact one, just because I don't need the one for the dark roots, and I wouldn't use it up in time. So, but yeah, I really did like this one. It, it works really, really well. And I think I only paid 14 bucks for the jumbo can. Or like 13 so that's really not bad at all and one of these will last me usually about four or five months so really good price point and we have a body wash and this is the Japanese cherry blossom from Bath and Body Works and I love the scent of this I think it just smells so good it's definitely one of my favorites so I would definitely repurchase this as well and here we have some vitamin C makeup remover cleansing wipes. And I don't think I will be repurchasing this just because I have a new way of removing my makeup that I think is a lot less harsh on the skin. Stay tuned. I will be going over that in a, a different video. I have a whole new video that will be going up in the near future going over how I am going to be removing my makeup from here on out. Um, and we have this Pureology 21 Benefits Leave-In. I have repurchased this a couple of different times. I am trying out something that's a little bit more affordable right now. So I'm not using this exact one. And it's not from Pureology. But I really do like this one. But it is a little bit more pricey. So I'm just trying out something that's a little bit more affordable. And we have another dry shampoo. Surprise, surprise. I go through a lot of dry shampoo. And my hair doesn't get very greasy. I just really like it for the volume. I think it just really extends your style. And I have this detox dry shampoo from Dry Bar in the scent Grapefruit Mimosa. And the smell of this is just so amazing. It's so... So unfortunately, it also doesn't sell it anymore. I think you may be able to order it directly off of the Dry Bar website. I'm not sure, but it is very hard to find this scent. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to be repurchasing this exact one. Um, and we have a hair mask. This is the Barogio Be Gentle, Be Kind in the Avocado Kiwi. And I really like the scent of this. This scent makes your hair, hair smell so good. It smells amazing. I mean, I used up this and I mean, nothing was left behind. I love it that much. Not a drop was left behind. Um, I am trying out something else, like a different deeper hair, deep hair mask. And, oh, I can't talk today. <laughs> Excuse me. Deep hair mask. That is slightly more affordable. So I have been kind of trying to, like, cut back on some expenses lately and just not buy, like, high-end stuff whenever I can because they are more pricey. So I am trying out something that is a little bit more affordable. And... We have another hair mask. This is the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. And I bought this in the jumbo size from Amazon because I love it so much. And like the other one, nothing was left behind. I love it. And the thing about hair masks is I do go, them, go through them very quickly because my hair is like really thick. And it's pretty long. So... I try to whenever possible to buy the jumbo size of something because it will just last me longer. And here we have the Olaplex number no. 3. 
And I love this stuff. If you just leave this in for like a half hour before you shower, it makes your hair just, you can definitely tell the difference. It's just like making, you can definitely tell it's making your hair stronger. It's not going to make your hair super soft, I, but it kind of just repairs your hair from within. And I really like this. I've repurchased this at least 10 times. And we have a... This is a cheaper alternative. It's called the Ion Absolute Perfection Color Sealer. And this is kind of like a dupe for the Olaplex. But I wouldn't say it works as well as the Olaplex. I definitely prefer the Olaplex over this. But it is a little bit cheaper. So it's got that going for it. Um... And here we have a mascara, and this is unfortunately a product that just did not work for me. I did force myself to use it up because it is a pricier mascara, and it's called the, the Damn Girl Mascara from Too Faced, and I really just did not like it. It goes everywhere, and it has the biggest, most obnoxious wand that you will ever see, like what is the point of it being this huge it just it gets everywhere and it even got on the outside of the container like it's just I will be happy to throw that away and here we have two more empty um, makeup remover wipes I really liked these Amazon ones but I noticed that my eyes were kind of getting irritated from using makeup remover wipes around them and I have done some research and apparently makeup remover wipes aren't good for your face so but I won't get into this too much because I said I was going to be making another video about it but I have done some research and apparently makeup remover wipes are not good for your face and here's another body wash and this is the you're the one from Bath and Body Works and I really liked this the smell of it was just like really like rosy and it had a hint of strawberry in it. I really liked it, but unfortunately this was a seasonal one that came out for Valentine's Day. So I won't be able to get my hands on it. And here's a foundation I used up and this is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Foundation. And it is vegan friendly, so that's really nice. And it was in the shade Medium. And I really enjoyed this. It had a really nice set and dewy finish. I would definitely repurchase this, but I don't think they make this anymore. So I think this got discontinued. And here we have something that I unfortunately did not use all the way up, but I thought I would include it in the video. And this is the, because I'm going to be getting rid of this because it did irritate my eyes. And this is the Hard Candy Strawberry Jelly Cleanser and Makeup Remover. And I'm pretty sure this did contribute to when my eyes were getting super irritated. Um, I'm not really sure why because it's supposed to be really gentle. But I think it may be because it is scented. I'm not sure. I don't know that much about skin. But I'm going to be getting rid of this because I... It just did not work for my skin, unfortunately. And here is an eyeliner, and this is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner. And unfortunately, this dried up before I was able to use it up, so I didn't really get to use the whole thing of it up, which is unfortunate. But... And I do prefer, I think, just like the pen liners over the gel, but I did want to try this out. But, yeah, I'm going to be getting rid of that as well. And here is something I used up. This is the LA Girl Pro Powder. And I used most of this up. There might be a tiny bit left in it, but this is so old that I just, I feel like I need to get rid of it. I've had it for probably at least three years and I just never got around to getting rid of it. So we're gonna get rid of that, and it is like 95% gone. And here is a lip product I used up. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Milan, and this was featured in my most recent um, makeup tutorial, and I really do like this color. So if you see it at your Ulta, definitely pick it up, because it's a great 
um, pinky color. And here we have a mini size primer I used up. And this is the Marc Jacobs primer and I really liked this. It was a sample size. I don't think I will be buying the full size just because it is pretty pricey and it's not really in my budget um, for what I would spend on a primer but it is really nice and it didn't like completely like it didn't completely like blow my socks off if you know what I mean um, here's the winky Lux tinted moisturizer and I really did like this but I feel like for what the price was I really love the it cosmetic CC cream and I feel like it gives more coverage and for I just really prefer it I don't think I would go out of my way to buy this again I might buy it if it was on sale but I definitely won't go out of my way to buy it um, and here is a concealer that I used up and this is the NARS radiant creamy concealer I love this once I use up the concealer that I'm using right now I'm definitely gonna repurchase this one because I just feel like this one, I just love the way it looks underneath my under eyes. And here we have another mascara, and this is the Falsies Lash Lift. And I liked this better than the Too Faced one, but again, it has such a huge wand. It might not be picking it up on camera, but it is a really big wand. And I just didn't really care for the formula either. And I usually love Maybelline mascaras. Like, I love the the original Falsies one. That is one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. Um, and here we have another concealer that I used up. And I've had, I had this for a while, so I was just, like, kind of ready to get rid of it. I think I got it from TJ Maxx. And this is the Laura Geller. It's, like, a pot concealer, and it is the radiant creamy concealer and it's okay it's a little thick for my preference I don't really gravitate towards really thick concealers because I just like to kind of brighten up my under eyes and here we have another um, eyeliner marker thing I guess I've only shown one but this is the super fat eye marker from NYX and it was okay. If you like a thicker line, you would probably really like this because it is a bigger pen and it kind of helps you get that thicker line. But I personally, lately, I've been going towards more of a thin line, so I don't think I will repick this up. But it is a great drugstore um, liquid marker pen thing. And here we have another mascara. Lots of mascara, and this is the Tarte Man Eater, and I really liked this one. I I really did enjoy it. Um, I don't think I would buy it full price, but if it was on sale, I would definitely buy it again. The one mascara I really enjoy from Tarte is their Big Ego one, the one in the pink packaging. I like that one a lot better, but that one was not bad at all. And here is my IT Cosmetics CC Cream that I was talking about, and it is in the Illumination version, and I like that one the best because I do have dry skin. And I use this completely up, and I do have the NARS one that I'm trying out right now, their Tinted Moisturizer one, but once that is used up, I'm probably going to repurchase this one. I, I liked the NARS one, but not as much as this one. Oh, there we go. And we have another makeup remover wipe. And I did use up a Stila liquid lip color. And it was in the shade Fiery. And they do make really good liquid lipsticks. I really like the formula. It's not too dry. So, but I do have quite a few other reds, so I won't be running out to pick this up but it is a great color and here we have the 
the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Liquid Lip Color in the color Nudist Peach. And I really like this color. I definitely would repurchase it if I was in the market for this color, but I have a lot of liquid lipsticks, so I don't need to re run out and buy one. Um, I'm really trying to use up what I have. But if you did enjoy this video, definitely go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy makeup content or empties videos or anything of that sort, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I would love to be friends here on YouTube. And check out my so other social medias in the down bar. I would love to connect on there as well. And I will see you in my next video and have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Bye!